Last week, I was in a short film. It's the first short film I've been in, which I didn't make myself. As well as one of the first short films I've been in, where I don't play all the characters. In this case, it was actually a variety of cast, and a, a nice diverse cast of actors and actresses. As well as a professional camera, and a full camera and audio crew. So yeah. It was quite new for me, and it was, like I said, a student film, RMIT. I don't actually study at RMIT, I just happened to be in their short film. So I'm not here to talk about the film itself, because, well, first of all, I can't do a review since it hasn't been released yet, and since obviously you haven't seen it, since it hasn't been released, so like, why would I review for you a movie that you haven't seen? And that even I haven't seen, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And plus, it's actually kind of hard to describe this film in a way that makes it sound exciting. So instead, how can you be in a student film? Well, first and foremost, you ought to be young. Because since uni student films are technically, or generally, the characters in them are uni students, and thus those who portray them you should be at least around that age range as well so late teens twenties maybe early thirties i mean there are thirty something year old uni students these days so i guess if you're early thirties that should work or if you're evan peters and you look like a teenager no matter what age that's that's pretty useful or Johnny Depp, who was like 30 and still looked like a teenage boy. Yeah, so if you're Evan Peters or Johnny Depp, easy peasy. Yeah, if you're old though, that might not work. So if you're old, just jump in a time travel machine and go back a few years. I don't know. In any case, being young for a student film is definitely an advantage. So... Yeah, if you are my age or around my age, now is a good time to get started. Second off, you need to be at least moderately good at acting. Student films te te typically don't ask for actors who are like Hollywood level A star acting, but you should at least be moderately good. So like, you should at least be a better actor than Matt Hannon in Samurai Cop, or soccer players when they get injured, or the North Korean citizens pretending to cry at Kim Jong-il's funeral because they were given the choice of either that or dying. Yeah, you should at least be better actors than them. Unless it's a parody film, I guess, which the one I was in wasn't. So, yes, there's, there's my two points so far. Presumably you'd be around their age, or look at it around their age, because like I said, Johnny Depp and Evan Peters, yeah, they, they weren't really teenagers when they played as teenagers. Uh, and so second off, you're going to need at least be moderately good at acting. And the third thing as well is a talent agency. I mean, it's probably not essential, but it helps. It's how I got in. Uh, one talent agency that I think everybody my age uses, I mean, like, legit, whenever I look, whenever I meet someone my age, I just look up their name on Star Now to see if they have an, a profile account. They generally do have a profile account there. Yeah, like I just said, Star Now. It's pretty good, simple to use, but there's a reason why 99% of Star Now users don't actually make their way into a movie role or a TV show role, and that's because they make the same mistake I made. I made my profile on Star Now back in late 2016, and absolutely nothing happened until just recently when I applied for a role. You can probably see exactly what I just said. Four years, nothing happened until I applied for a role. That's the thing. Like, I don't remember exactly, but I probably must have thought, like, you know, if I make a profile, some director will just magically come across my profile by coincidence, which doesn't really make sense. Which is why instead, if you're going to make a profile on Star Now, which is a definitely good idea for aspiring actors and actresses, then yeah, 
make sure you apply for roles instead of just leave your profile there like I did because yeah, that's, uh, that's four years of waiting and uh, didn't get me very far. So yes, those are my three points of how you're going to wind up in a student short film. Be young. So if you're old, like I said, just go back in time a few years, okay? It's not that hard. Be okay at acting. At least okay. I mean, some... Depending on roles and things, some movies might require better actors than others. And, of course, a talent agency. Not essential, but definitely useful. So, those are my three points of things to keep in mind if you're looking to be in a student short film. Alright? Good at it. Now, as for the film I was in... It is yet to be confirmed when the film will be released to the public, if it even will in the first place. The director told me that within about two weeks I would get a notification as to the film's premiering, and judging by what I've heard, I think it's going to be played at various RMIT campuses, or maybe just the one that she was in. Because keep in mind, it was just a project for her filmmaking class. It wasn't really made as a thing to show the world. So actually, I don't know for a fact if it will be available to you or the public in general, but when I do get the heads up, I will also leave a quick notification about that too in a separate video. But yeah, I hope this has helped for those of you who want to be in a student film or two. So make sure you follow those three things. Be young, be okay at acting, and make a talent agency profile and apply for things with it. That's a very important note, note jot, what was with my mouth today, jot point or something, is don't just make a profile account on Star Now or any other agency, but apply for roles with it. Yes. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.